Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome back to Repair and Replace. In this episode, I'll show you how to troubleshoot some common problems in an American Standard Selectronic Flashometer. Flashometers, or flush valves, are just automatically timed self-closing valves. At rest, water is at equal pressure in the upper and lower chambers. This keeps the piston closed tightly on the valve seat. When the sensor is triggered, the solenoid activates and releases water from the upper chamber, which decreases the pressure. High pressure water from the inlet now lifts the piston up and travels down the flush pipe. During the flush, some of the water is forced back into the upper chamber through a small bypass hole in the piston. The flush continues until the pressure equalizes and pushes the piston down onto the valve seat. Over time, the rubber seals on the piston deteriorate, which can cause water from the upper chamber to leak. This might prevent the upper chamber from pressurizing. If the piston is stuck in the raised position, it can also cause continuous flushing. Another cause can be the solenoid. If it is stuck open, water continues to flow out and will prevent the upper chamber from pressurizing. You can watch these repairs in the videos linked below. If there's not enough water to properly flush the bowl, then first check the water supply. Open the control stop until you get a normal flush with a quiet operation. Since the water flow rate is dependent on the pressure, the pipe size, length, and number of fixtures in the building can all affect the flow rate of each flush. Also, using the wrong sensor, such as a one gallon per flush urinal sensor on a 1.6 gallon toilet, can create a shortage of water. If there's an excessive amount of water flowing during each flush, then first check the water supply. Close the inlet stop valve all the way and then open it one complete turn. Another cause can be the wrong sensor, such as a 1.6 gallon per flush toilet installed on a one gallon urinal. If the unit isn't flushing automatically, then press the manual override button. If the flushometer doesn't flush manually, then check the control stop to see if the water is on and clean or replace the piston assembly. If the valve flushes manually but doesn't flush automatically, then disconnect and reconnect the battery pack. Now, if you don't see a red flashing light, then replace the battery pack. If you see a red flashing light, but don't hear the solenoid activate, then replace the solenoid. Finally, if you've replaced the solenoid and the valve still doesn't flush, then replace the sensor module. You can watch the videos linked below for more detail. If you found this video useful, then subscribe to our channel. We're constantly filming new content every week, so let us know what repairs you'd like to see next. Now, if you need a part for that repair, then explore our website. We stock thousands of hard to find parts and we'll ship it out to you the same day. Thanks for watching.